But my story about being a fish out of water is um, is a little bit has a slightly surprising premise to move to New York. We lived in Canada. We lived in Montreal, Canada, and Canada, as some of you may know, is a very, very different place from New York City. And Martha, that very Martha, and I went to New York and we rented the world's smallest apartment. Smallest apartment. It was a nine by eleven apartment, and I am not exaggerating. And it was filled with cockroaches, which we didn't know when we rented it in daylight. So we did a terrible thing. Martha had one beautiful dress, cashmere dress, and we decided to go to Barney's and take my scholarship money. Barney's in those days was down on 17th Street, and buy me one perfect suit. And this one perfect suit would get us through life. Martha went back to Montreal to collect our few things. I took the suit. To a Greek tailor, because of course I had to have the cuffs taken off because of my notably diminutive stature. <laughs> and I took it, and he took my measurements, and I knew that life was going to be okay because, despite the cockroaches, despite the tiny room, I had a suit. And I went back and I collected the suit from the tailor. I put it in a garment bag. He put it in the garment bag. I took it over my shoulder. I walked back. To our tiny basement apartment, and I unzipped it to take one more look at this suit that would keep me safe and in poetic elevation from the cockroaches and the world around me. And I looked at it, and I looked down, and I saw that the pants were gone. The pants had slid right off the hanger and were someplace out there on the street. And I ran out onto First Avenue, and I raced back to the tailors. And you know, the the truth is, is that fish. Don't really have a theory of water. That's the truth about fish being out of water. They know two states: safe and oh my god. That's all fish really know about water. And that was all I knew at that moment. The trousers were gone. The suit was ruined, and I ran back to the Greek tailor, and he said words that I will never forget as long as I live because they were so perfectly elegiac. He said, "It used to fit nice. It used to fit nice." And I knew that the trousers were gone for good. And two months later, Martha and I got on the subway, and she was wearing her beautiful white dress, and I was wearing the jacket from that beautiful suit. <laughs> and we got on that subway. We went down to City Hall, and we got married in the December of 1980, a long time ago. And I knew that I was inadequate, not only to the measure of my wife, but to the measure. Of my own hopes, because I would never have my suit trousers back. And no matter how many suits I've bought since, I still are missing those pants. And I feel that I walk through the world naked <laughs> from the waist down, no matter where I go or how many years go by. Because the truth is that we learn in pain in New York. That a piece of plywood would never protect you, and that suit trousers once lost are lost forever. And that's my tale.